You had an amazing time with somebody. You're either in a relationship or you had an amazing couple dates. And all of a sudden, they don't talk to you anymore or things start to go south. They don't text you as much, they're not as interested in you, and you have no idea what happened. Well, there's a number of variables that could have happened, but the most significant one is something has clearly changed. Either an idea, an action, or there was an event to trigger the whole thing. All we know is that they have changed. So what do you do in this situation? What do you do when you're dating someone and they all of a sudden stop giving you respect, stop giving you attention, stop seeing you as often? Or what do you do if you're going out with somebody for the first time, you had an amazing date and they just ghost you, they don't talk to you? Well, there's a lot of things you could do here, but the first thing is to reflect. You have to ask yourself what happened. Now obviously you're probably watching this telling yourself, I have no idea what happened and that's okay. That's absolutely okay. But you have to ask yourself another question. Is it worth it? Is this person worth chasing? Is this person exactly what you want? Or did you fall for an illusion? Did you fall for something that they weren't? Because I truly believe that the person that's completely compatible for you wouldn't treat you in that way. However, there are specific things that you might have done to trigger this behavior in them. And I'm gonna go over them here right now. Number one, you probably became insecure, you became too needy. You started to let your insecurities come up and you seek validation from them. Now, a lot of the time, instead of people responding positively to this and giving you more security, reassuring you, they do the opposite. And it makes you even more insecure, gives you more anxiety and makes you continue doing the thing that you were doing before. If you were being needy and annoying, all of a sudden you'll be even more needy and even more annoying which will continue to push them away. So ask yourself what it is that you're doing more of that's pushing them away. There is clearly a behavior or an emotion you are feeling that is making them leave. And it most likely has to do with you giving them too much. You see, if someone just easily gets your validation, if somebody can easily get your attraction, they know you're gonna stick around, it lowers your value and it makes them less likely to wanna be with you. As a matter of fact, if anything, it probably repulses them and pushes them away. They need space. They feel like they're choked. They feel like you're being too clingy. So the number one thing you need to do in this situation is to stop and give them space. Stop chasing them. Stop texting them. Stop calling them. These are all things that are going to continue to push them away from you. Step number two, ask yourself what it is that you're missing internally that you feel you're getting from them. It could be some kind of sense of validation. It could be maybe they make you feel like you're good enough. Whatever that feeling may be, ask yourself what it is that they're giving you and now you have to ask yourself how to give this to yourself. Because once you have it, you won't have that insecurity that pushed them away in the first place. A relationship, regardless if it's going to work out or not, is all about growth. It's supposed to bring out the things inside of you that push you down, the things that hold you back. All the insecurities you're dealing with will come out in a relationship and they'll actually have consequences. Some people will deal with them and some people won't. But the most important thing is to always grow. And in this specific situation, whatever that insecurity may be, you need to identify it. Ask yourself what they were giving you that you no longer get. And what you can do from this point on is once you figure it out, you have to learn how to love yourself more. Once you learn how to love yourself more, all you have to do is take a second, ask yourself what it was that you were uncomfortable with. And using your imagination, imagine a scenario in which everybody approves of you, everyone likes you, everything works out for you with that insecurity. Now this may not be easy, it takes practice because getting over insecurity does not happen instantly. When you get good at it, it does. But the biggest problem here isn't your insecurity, right? It's what they're doing to you. Wrong. The problem with a relationship always falls back on you. If someone wasn't treating you well, it's because you allowed them to. If someone wasn't respecting you, it's because you didn't set the boundary. When you have boundaries and you're willing to walk away and you show people that you will not take or handle someone mistreating you, they'll either stop mistreating you or you'll move on to the next person. Those are the only two options in a situation like this. So here's the third thing that you should know if you really want to get someone like this back. They're doing this because they feel they need something. They need space. Maybe they're testing you to see if you're going to chase them. Either way, you don't want to reward this behavior. You don't want to give them a positive reinforcement for them leaving. 
for them not being with you. Now, what does positive reinforcement look like? Well, if someone is not giving you as much attention and you give them more attention, that tells them that this is a way to get you to like them more. And then they'll continue to use that against you. Another form of positive reinforcement is a self-fulfilling prophecy. If they think that you're abusive or controlling or whatever the fear they may have is, and then you continue to bombard them with messages saying you're the worst person in the world, you're so mean, I'm sorry, babe, I love you, no, you're a jerk, I hate you, whatever, if you're going from insults to apologies to insults to apologies, it's gonna make you look really bad. And it's only gonna to continue to reinforce the fact that they need space from you and they don't wanna be around you. So the number one thing you should do in this situation is give them space. Give them time, go do your own thing, work on yourself. And if they truly like you and wanna come back, they will. But don't let them back in so easily. You know, let them show you that they're not gonna do that again. Because to be honest, the way to deal with a relationship isn't just to walk away and ignore your partner or ghost them. That's extremely immature and not respectful at all. I don't care what the situation is, that's not the way to handle it. If you wanna end it, you end it. If you don't wanna end it, then don't be disrespectful. But if someone is doing that, then what you need to do is you need to now realize that that's not an acceptable behavior are you going to stay in this relationship? If you're going to stay in this relationship, are you going to allow them to continue to do that? Well, if they come back and you just like open arms, yeah, I miss you, I love you, they'll feel comfortable doing it again. And they'll feel like they can do it whenever they want. So as long as you don't reward these behaviors, you're not going to have a problem. But every time you reward this behavior or you allow yourself to get into a situation where someone is doing this to you and you stick around, I wouldn't be surprised if they continue to do it. Now, this might be a pattern for you. I remember I used to literally, every girl I'd go out with would ghost me. Or I would go out with them long enough and then all of a sudden they would ignore me, they would go out with their friends, they would stop prioritizing me, they would stop texting me as much. And what I learned was that I had this insecurity that every girl I'd go out with would cheat on me. So then they would go out and I would text them all the time and I'm like, hey, where are you? You know, when are you coming back? Who are you with? Send me a video, send me a picture. And that would obviously make them feel like, wow, I, I, I can't breathe, I don't have space with this person. And it would push them away even more. And when I realized I had this insecurity, it was really unconscious. It, it, immediately, I eradicated that behavior and now, instead of them doing that, they, they don't wanna go out, they wanna spend time with me. They won't even, if their friends ask them to come out with them, they're, they're like, they're pushing their friends away. I have to tell them, no, go hang out with your friend. That's how things have turned around for me. Because I got rid of this insecurity, I stopped acting needy. I'm in a place of abundance. Now this works for men and women, by the way. I was very generic in this video on purpose because there are specific principles that apply to both men and women. Obviously, I could dive deeper into what a man should do and I could dive deeper into what a woman should do. It's very different because we're different people. We want different things. But for the most part, if someone isn't giving you the attention you deserve, they're not doing what you want, you can ask for it. But if they're continuously ignoring you, continuously avoiding you, give them space. If they come back, awesome. If they don't, move on. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment below. And if you're wondering how to take your relationship to the next level, if there's something that's holding you back inside, or maybe you just feel like you wanna understand a little bit more about how people work and why they do what they do, then I need you to click on the link below and schedule a call with me or one of my coaches. And we'll help you not only go from where you are to where you wanna be, but show you how to reprogram your mind and how to understand psychology at a level that most people in their lifetimes will never learn. And you can learn it in a very short amount of time. So make sure you click on that link below, subscribe, thumbs up, comment below if you like this video, and I'll see you next time.